Are you going to work to sell today or are you going to work to produce? See, I've worked with a lot of those who have been selling. But to see a producer in action, man, that a producer is a whole different breed. So let me tell you a, a few of the differences between sellers and producers. Sellers wait for the market, but producers, man, producers are the market. See, sellers wait for the outside market to bring, to push customers in. And if the market's good, then they'll sell something. But producers realize they are the market. And so they don't worry about things abroad. They realize that the market that they're working with are the ones that are right there in front of them. Sellers show up, but producers, man, they bring the show. They bring the show with every single customer that they have. Regardless of how good or how bad their month is going, they realize that this is a new opportunity. And if it's a new opportunity, that means that I bring a new show. Sellers work to pay bills, but producers, man, they work to create freedom. See, sellers work within the four walls. They're confined within the four walls. So hopefully enough customers come in those four walls that they can pay their bills. But producers, they're not confined to just the four walls. Everywhere they go, they're looking for an opportunity to create more freedom. Sellers make it rain, but producers, producers make it flood, man. See, sellers will give you a one-to-one, -one, maybe two-to-one ratio. So they work with one customer and hope to have one outcome, one sale. Maybe, just maybe, if, they, if they're in a good mood, they'll work with two customers a day and result in one sale. But anything over that, if it doesn't result in a sale, they're not working with them. But producers, man, producers make it flood because they're willing to work with three, four, five times the number of customers that that seller's willing to work with. Sellers have skills. Yeah, they got skills, but as long as their emotions are right, in other words, they're in a good mood or they're having a good month so far or a good day so far, then they'll work with those skills to be able to make a sale. But producers bring skills and techniques. See, your techniques are your leverage points, man. And what they, what they do is they're constantly looking for ways to leverage with their customer, working those techniques. They drip in just enough emotion to keep the flow of the sale going, but they don't let the emotions override and end up driving the whole bus and ruining the whole sale. 